We are finally back today, everybody. I was at a wedding this weekend. I got sick at the wedding, and now we're here. So hopefully everything's all good, but let's jump right in and just go over what happened this offseason. The first thing that we ever did was focus on this coaching staff. We promoted Claude Burns from guard guru to head coach, and he is going to really help us out here in the seven seconds because that is his preferred system, and he's got four out of five stars if we have the right people in our starting five. So this is the right guy for us. He's got A minus offense or A offense or C minus defense or something. But then we have uh, Edward Boyd, Caleb Goldman, Antoine Warwick. We have um, Phillips as our assistant head coach. We brought in a lot of new staff members. We also traded during the draft Quentin Grimes and Nick Richards plus our first round pick to trade up to pick 13. And we also acquired Lou Dort in that trade as well, who will start this year at shooting guard to be one of our best ball defenders. Then we also drafted Matthew Rhodes with that 13th overall pick. And this guy has A plus potential. We have to make sure that we at least give him some playing time to get some action out there. We're going to start with like about 10 minutes of action. And then we also signed John Collins to be our starting power forward to be a better defender than Chris Murray was. I still think that Murray and Kispert are good pieces to have. They're just better suited to be bench players. Then for Jovanovic, we're going to sit with the messy spiked hair. But for his facial hair, I did end up going with facial hair 12. So new look Yovi. This might be his permanent look for at least a couple of seasons. And for Mac Boyd, thank you guys for your tips in the comments. I did find out where I can change what his body type actually looks like. And he starts off as compact, but we're going to switch it up to defined. He's going to attack out eight more pounds, and he's turned a lot of those pounds into muscle instead of body fat. And he has a much more defined six pack, and he just looks bulkier in general. We're also going to go to a short afro fade, so a bit shorter hair than he was rocking the past two seasons. And today, on opening night in year five, we are taking on the Golden State Warriors. You've got AC Cole, Damian Lillard, Walker Kessler, Andrew Wiggins. Their bench is not very good, but their starting five can definitely compete. And for Claude Burns, here's what his coaching stats look like. And we're going to have, you know, a 11-man uh, bench. But his playbook is actually the, the Thunder playbook. So a bit of a change here. We're going to see some new offensive stuff here today. And here's one last look at your lineup to start year five. And here we go, everybody. It's time for your season and home opener here in year five. We're finally underway in Atlantic Arena. The Warriors will start with the ball to kick starts from your week. Top of the key, AC Cole got it to open the scoring here. Gonna be tough to see who we put Yovi on because they've got two really good guards and Lou Dorb can't guard both, so. We'll see who is going to be the biggest threat on the offensive and then probably switch Dort on to them. Mac Boyd, though, looking pretty built out there as Jovanovic misses his first three-point shot and Lillard comes back down with it. And off to Wiggins, who got a mismatch on Jovanovic and the shot is up and in. It's 5-0. Boyd, contested three, got it! If we're in store for... Shots like that this season, as in shots going in like that. I can't wait. Wiggins to Cole. He's covered well. They're trying to find Dame off ball. They get to him. Yovi comes over and the shot's off. On the other end, Boyd in the corner off the feed from Dort. No, but Duran grabs the offensive rebound. John Collins, open mid-range jumper. Yes, sir, we're all tied. That's his first bucket in a, a, a Neptune's uniform. And how fitting is it for Matt Boyd to open up a scoring here in year five? As now, really in sole possession of the best player on this team by a long shot. Andrew Wiggins misses a three at top of the key, and we get it back in a tie ball game. Shot clock winding down. Boyd needs a screen. Another three-point attempt is in there. Let's go. Mac Boyd, the sharpshooter, I hope. Wiggins, same spot as last time. Rattles out again. Another open look. 
Rounding a screen. Boyd in the paint. Got it. He's got seven of our ten. Or no, eight of our ten. We're on a 10-0 run now after they were up 5-0 early on. They will call timeout here. And by the way, I did adjust uh, several sliders regarding like shot contest and shooting. So we should be at a good spot going forward. But we might make more adjustments as we move along in the season. I will show those if I can remember at the end of the episode. So stay tuned for those. I might also show, can't promise it, but I might also show all the rosters across the entire league just to go through all the changes that each team has gone through in the past two seasons. Wiggins in the paint. Mac Boyd lost him for a second, and Wiggins will have his first points. Or no, his, his uh, second points. Second bucket for him. For four for six there, three for six. Ivanovic steps back, found some space, but can't knock it down. AC Cole up ahead to Lillard. A lot of movement here for Wiggins. He gets off ball back door, and he's in there again. Collins fades away and knocks it down. Nice shot. We need more, more, more players who can do things like that. Just hit the you know simple mid-range shots. Don't gonna do anything you know crazy, but. You know, just do things like that, make their own space, all that. Cole over the top to Baisley. Collins is there, but a bucket and foul, and a free throw can tie things up. Trying to avoid these and ones opportunities, but luckily Baisley missed it, but then Collins turns it over, threw it right to him. Then he swats Wiggins a shot out of bounds. Trying to make up for the turnover. So Golden State pretty much gets two straight possessions all at one. Lillard's three, no dice, and he is still scoreless. Time winding down, gotta make a shot here. Yovi has to just force one, and he got it. What a play. And off to Lillard. Now a screen. And the shot's off again. Rough start to the game in the season for Damian Lillard, but we'll take it. He is very old. Half of the quarter to left. Boyd picks up his lost dribble. Out to Dort for the triple. No, it's tipped up, and Duran gets there. Dort's open for the mid-range jumper, and it's good. Five-point game. Screen for Cole. Back to Baisley, and he missed the layup. Dort was a little bit behind him, but we'll take the miss either way. Off ball movement for Jovanovic. Good penetration. That's a great play. Just right into an easy layup. Love that. Five to go in the quarter. Gessler finds AC Cole. Time counting down. Boyd Donami has to force the shot. And it's off the mark. A chance to increase this lead even further up by seven. Up ahead to Dort. He finds Duran at the rim. Go up over Baisley, brother. Come on. Mismatch for Collins, though. Now he's doubled. He finds Dort open for three, and it's off. How do we not capitalize there? Got to do better on that possession. From the wave, high arcer for Cole, but it's not going to fall as Dort came in and might have thwarted that shot. You got Webb, Hispert, and Murray at the scores table right now. They'll check in soon as Lillard picks up a personal foul off a of screen. Timeout Neptunes. Well, they almost jumped the pass, but it gets through to Kispert. He has a wide open lane. We'll take it. Warriors definitely are asking for some better offense from Lillard here, and that might be his first bucket of the day, I think. Boyd stays in the game for us as Jovanovic checks out. Webb can't get the bucket, but he did get the foul on Kessler's first. The Dalen Webb comes in as the backup center once again this season. It's his fourth season with us here in Virginia Beach and pretty much hasn't really changed as a player since year two. Had some slight growth, came a bit better, but no real improvement since then and hopefully we can just look for some better defense this season, but 82 games. A lot to learn and find out as Mac Boyd splashes a bucket on the other end. He's got 10 now, 4 for 5. The rest of our team is 13 points and 6 for 10, so we're shooting very well here in this first quarter, but the Warriors are not. 
But Lillard's wide open this time, and he's got it. Five straight points for him. High ball screen for Anthony. Back to Murray for three. No, that's his first shot of the day. Meanwhile, Lillard burst up ahead, but can't knock it down on the quick shot. We get it right back. 12 rebounds to their five. It's because they've just been missing way more shots than we have. And we're also just a better rebounding team, I think. Mismatch for Webb. He goes back to Cole. Out to Murray. Good passing. And Murray splashes it this time in the corner. That's some good offense right there. Kessler the screen. Washington back to him over Webb. Got it for the finish. In the high post. Webb hands off to Boyd. Mismatched on Kenyon Martin Jr. He hands off to Murray, but... He's now one for three. Here's a screen. Lillard, open step back three, but still hasn't really found his rhythm. Hispert finds Anthony. He's wide open, uncontested. That one's off two. The Warriors bring it up. It's Spencer Dinwiddie now on the, off the bench for Golden State. They're down by eight, last minute of the quarter. Here comes a screen for P.J. Washington. He's got an open jumper from behind the arc. Can't get it to go. Shot clock under 10. Gonna go to Mac Boyd here off the screen. A fire, and it's just off the mark. 26 to 18, though. Our defense has actually been pretty damn good, I'd say. We almost got a steal there for uh, Kispert, but went through his hands. Lillard, deep fade away, no. And we have a chance to end this quarter on a strong way. Gispert's got it. Is he going to pull up? No, it's Boyd instead. And it's good to beat the buzzer. Mac Boyd is here, and we lead by 11. Couple of big contested threes falling for number 22 early on. Well, we finished that first quarter in a great way, and uh, they really had some problems scoring those last six minutes of the, of the first. So we'll see if that continues here against this Neptune's defense. Murray for three. Yes, sir, it's online. The threes are dropping for us here in the first half. Love seeing that. But oh, also, Matthew Rhodes, the high potential rookie, is now in the game for his first ever NBA minutes. Let's see what he can give us for the, this next, you know, six or five minute stretch for him on the court. Kenyon Martin Jr. can't knock it down, and Rhodes grabs the board. Step back, three for Jovanovic offline. He's missed a handful of those shots. Hasn't taken, you know, too many smart ones, but it is early on. DJ Washington fades away and knocks it down. It's back to a 12-point game. Jovanovic to Murray. Long two online. He's such a good shooter, man. I love having this guy on, on our team. And yeah, we've shot just below 60%. They've shot just below 40 they're just simply not playing as well as we are right now. It's just the shooting numbers are the big difference. Dinwiddie steps into a three. Well, that one's off as well. Their threes have not been dropping like ours have. And now Murray in the corner again. That one's off. And Dinwiddie pulls it down. Up ahead to Cole. Right at the rim. And he stepped out of bounds. We take over. Murray pulls up again. That one's off, but Duran comes in flying to clean things up. And Virginia Beach leads at home by 16 over Golden State. Oh, blocked by Duran. Great help defense right there, helping out his teammate Corey Kispert. That's how you play some defense, Jalen Duran. Kispert, pump fakes, got pull up in the air, gets by him, but misses the shot from the elbow. Here comes a high ball screen for Washington. We switch. Duran gets back on defense. Good job. And we have to put a hand up. And that was a really contested shot right there. Another good job on that defensive possession. Duran has a mismatch on Washington. He gets down low. but misses the shot. Gets it back. Gisbert's wide open. And it'll do some damage. Off the screen. Cole attacks the rim and Murray fouled him. Free throws coming up for the Warriors. 
Cole has not done much since the opening three-point bucket to start the scoring in this game. Free throws are both up and in, though. I forgot to clue you guys, and I did adjust, or maybe I did tell you guys, but I did give Yovi a left arm sleeve, and I gave Boyd some left wristbands, and I swapped out his medium armband for, like, an elbow sleeve instead, so some slight tweaks to their accessories. Andrew Wiggins with the ball, out to Baisley, deep triple, can't get it to go. Murray off the feed from Rhodes, missed again. He's definitely shot the ball a lot, which I want him to do off the bench, so I'm not upset about the number of shots, just want to knock maybe a few more of these down. Cole, mismatch on Jovanovic, easy bucket. Bob for Rhodes, and we threw it way too early and right to P.J. Washington. But Caden Martin Jr. steps out of bounds. Wow, the other teams are actually doing it now. That is impressive, and we aren't so far. 6.35 to go in the half. We are up 41-24. Off the screen, Dort tries to bounce pass it back past Kessler, but... Off his leg and right to Golden State. Got to make better passes than that next time around. Cole gets downhill, then steps back, and the shot's up and in. Off the screen, Anthony's got a wide open lane. Back to Boyd, who's blocked by Kessler. I feel like Anthony's got to shoot that, because his lane was much more open than Boyd's was. But a 15-point game, Ovens is definitely... Slowed down a little bit these last couple of minutes, but that's okay. Cole, back to Baisley, and he's fouled by Anthony. The second foul on us this quarter, none on the Warriors. First free throw off again for Baisley, missed one in the first quarter. And he goes one for two here. Boyd gets the handoff, fires, and missed the shot. Kessler right there in his face. Don't love that shot contest. Now they got Wiggins back door, and it's back to a 12-point game. Dort attacks after faking out Martin, and he draws a foul. Our first free throws of the game, I believe. First one's good for Dort. Second one, good as well. Nice job. We want to be better at those this season because those were a pretty big factor in that Bucks series. We missed a lot of free throws in that in that playoff series, so I want to avoid having those issues this season, hopefully. Wiggins behind the back. Hump fakes, but still missed a layup as Boyd stayed with him. Boyd's got a mismatch against Lillard. He rises up and hits it with the left hand. He's been efficient so far in this game, man. Oh, what I'm seeing from Boyd. Shot clock under five. Wiggins has to shoot. And it's online. Under four to play here in the first half. Anthony, wide open triple opportunity. Eddie makes do with it. Answers right back to Wiggins. 48-32. Got Baisley down low, but they go back out to Martin for the triple and still... Their threes just are not falling at a good clip at all. We got Steve Ray at the scores table. He'll check in soon. Collins is wide open. We missed him. Got Boyd down low instead. He will find Collins in the corner. Now we got to put a new play together here. Shot clock winding down. Anthony fires and missed this time around. High screen for Lillard. He finds Baisley on the roll and Dort fouled him pretty hard. More free throws coming up, but he's been shaky at the line. First one is in there, though. And the second for Baisley is also online, and our lead's cut to 14. AC Cole checks back in the last few minutes of this first half. Anthony bounce past to Boyd for the slam. He's up to 17 points now. Shot clock winding down. Lillard has to shoot, and it's online. Boyd gets the handoff, pulls the trigger immediately, and it's offline. 
Golden State gets it back down by 13. Just over 90 seconds to play here in the first half. Don't want to let these guys go on a little bit of a spurt here to end the, end the second quarter. Wiggins over Ray. Yes. He's been pretty good here in the first half. Might be their best player on the court right now. Time counting down. Anthony, beautiful pass to Webb, and he will finish through the contact. Nice job. For just over 50%, they are below. Wiggins trying to size up Boyd here. I don't think it'll work. Boyd's a better defender than he was last year, and he does get the stop. What is this play? Boyd, top of the key. Wiggins right there at his face, and the shot's off. I don't, I don't like that one at all. AC Cole, quick shot on the other end. Missed it. We have a chance to take one more shot here. Cole Anthony from the logo. Just missed it. But it's 52-39 at the break. The Warriors having some scoring issues, and we're not. But we lead, and we're looking pretty good. Start of the third quarter. They only shot 41% as Boyd gets blocked by Darius Baisley here on the first play. They've shot 41%. We've shot just over 50. But both teams have really not been too good from three. We're like 32%. They're at 22%. And both teams took around 20 there in the first half. There have also been not many free throws. So that's why the score is a little bit lower than you would anticipate. But we're still up by 13 points and we're going to get it back here after the foul. Yovian Boyd screen. Back to Boyd. The shot is up and in. Either guy could have shot the ball there and would have scored it probably. Cole. Back to Baisley. Wide open three on the money. And now we turn the ball over. Yovi threw it right to Wiggins. Not sure what he saw there on the pass. Wiggins off the screen. Back to Dame. Had enough space but missed the shot. Boyd at the elbow, doubled, he goes to Durin wide open. A stick there from Walker Kessler. Go to Wiggins down low, space over Boyd and the shot's in there. He continues to pour it on. There's a screen from Durin. Boyd turns it over right to Walker Kessler. Another one of those bad passes off a screen. Penetration from Cole. He got away from Dort, but still missed the shot. And it was an open one, too. Collins on Beasley down low. Left-handed shot. Missed it. Lillard. Hands off to Kessler. And he scores over Collins and Boyd. And our lead's cut to 10. Boyd. In the paint this time, between defenders, yes sir. Cole, for three in the face of Jovanovic. Our lead's cut to nine. Boyd, the Durin. He gets downhill, fires, bucket and foul on Baisley, yes sir. Dylan Durin showing off the mean mug. Free throw is off the mark though, damn it Durin, come on. Wiggins to Baisley. He's fouled by Jovanovic. So now quick points on the other end. First one in there. Second one for Baisley. Is good too. Out on the wing. A screen for Dortz. He fires immediately and missed the shot. Screen coming over for Lillard from Kessler. Yobi sticks with Lillard. Good job, and the shot's off. Off ball movement. Boyd's wide open, top of the key. And he's got it again from beyond the arc. 24 now for Mac Boyd. Still seven and more to play in this third quarter. Baisley answering back. Yes. Durin, wide open as they doubled Boyd again. You can't be doing that against this team. 65-54, about halfway through this third quarter. On the other end, Cole attacks and missed it over Dortz. 
Boyd off ball again, but a bad screen from Yovi, and we turn the ball over again. Point distribution for the Warriors. Almost all of them coming from their starting five. 96%. Shot clock counting down. Lillard is going to shoot this. You know he is, Yovi. From the elbow. Missed it. He's 3 for 12. Really has had a pretty horrible day. High screen. Jovanovic gets downhill. Could have had a wide open layup. And instead we somehow turn the ball over out of this play. Wow. Come on, guys. Duran strips it from Kessler. He's got Steve Ray to his left. The jumper is no good. Oh, man. Gotta do better on that play in transition. Eyeball screen for Wiggins. Boyd gets around the screen and they threw it right to Matthew Rhodes. I don't think he's fast enough to do this fast break by himself. But he finds Anthony open for a three and that one's off too. Haven't scored in over two minutes now. Lillard penetrates and lays it in despite Boyd draped all over him. Boyd. Low block, back out to Ray, open triple, online, yes sir, good shot. His first bucket this season. Rhodes guarding Baisley, reverse layup is good, that's a nice play. I want to see Rhodes take a shot or two, we haven't really given him a chance to do so in this game, but I'd love to see something from him on the offensive end. Feed boy down low. Got Wiggins up in the air. Easy finish. Time counting down. Lillard's got it. Baisley forces Wiggins to take the last shot. We get it back up by 12. So three to play in this third quarter. Off the screen. Anthony back to Boyd. The shot is off, but he was fouled hard by Kessler. Another instance where Anthony could just drive and lay that one in easily and then goes back to Boyd. That's why we're doing it so often, maybe because Boyd's just been hot all game long, but we've got the open lane. Just take it. Don't pass out of it. Free throws from Boyd are both online, and the lead extends to 14. Off the screen. Dinwiddie. Got it over Webb. How did that get through? That's unlucky. Eyeball screen. Better play than last time as Boyd readjusts and finishes at the rim. This dude cannot be slowed down right now. He's been so good all day long. EJ Washington stalled in his tracks by Murray. He has to force it, and he still scores. Wow. Boyd finds Anthony uncontested. You gotta hit that one, man. Come on. It's a wide open shot. Downhill, shuffle pass to Buford, bucket and foul on Webb. The assist to P.J. Washington, and now the free throw can put him back to single digits. But it's off. We're still up by 10. Jovanovic back in there with Corey Kispert and Jalen Dern and Lou Dort now. They're all back in the game. Dern, mismatch on Washington, bodies him off and just posterizes him with the single-handed flush. Three for Washington off the screen, not going to fall. 40 seconds to play in the quarter and counting. Jovanovic to Dort. Quick shot, missed it. Durant skies in for it. He's going to fire over Buford. Bucket and foul. Big play right there as Durant flexes on him. Yes, sir. Big play right there. Lead is back to 14 as the free throw is once again off. Here comes a screen in the corner for Dinwiddie. Space for a jumper. Got it. We're, we're going to have the last shot of this third quarter as well. Up by 12. Let's make it 80 or 81. Instead, we're just going to jack up a bad one. How does... How, just drop a play. Oh, well. 12-point lead through three. 78-66 defense on point. Offense looking pretty good. But 12 minutes to go. Got to finish this one out here on opening night. Fourth quarter begins. The Warriors have possession down by 12. How do we close this game out? We saw that, you know, Claude Burns has 
a, you know, fourth quarter coaching badge. We'll see if that actually holds true here. As Jalen Duran picks up a shooting foul, his first on the day. Comes here in the fourth quarter. Free throw is for Washington. And he knocks down both. This might be your first time all game not having Boyd or Yovi on the courts at all. Bounce pass to Duran. Beautiful feed there from Anthony. Or up to 80 points. AC Cole pulls the trigger in Kispert's face. Was not a wise idea. Dorrit gets downhill. Goes back out. They get back on defense. Anthony off the screen. Fires. Missed it, but Durant stuffs it back in with the left hand. Top of the key screen for Washington. The triple is online. And they're still hanging around, not letting us pull away here in the second half. Gispert drives and is fouled after Paulista missed another one of those jump passes. First free throw is online from Kispert. Steve Kerr is screaming over there on the bench. She's upset. Kispert goes one for two. We've got to be better on these free throws. They lob it for Kenyon Martin Jr., but he missed the dunk, and there was nobody really there to contest it. I think he just lost the handle. Lucky break for your Neptunes. Now a mismatch down low. Duren against Dinwiddie. Double team coming. Trying to spin outside of it. Thankfully does not step out of bounds, but bad shot there from Murray. Very well contested. And once again, we have not done well on these double teams. There's been plenty of plays where we have a mismatch of some kind and we don't attack it. But Murray strips Washington of the ball. We get it back up by 12. Anthony fires from the elbow and got it. Let's go. Eight points off their turnovers. They only have one bucket off ours. Penetration. Washington shakes off dirt and hits the tough one. And a fairly standard fourth quarter so far. Nothing to really speak of and take note of. Anthony, another one on the move. This time it's off as Kessler was right there in his face. Cole, open off ball for three and it's good. And once again, the Warriors cut it back to nine, which is pretty much where it stops. Then it goes back up to like 14 or 15 for a minute. Webb's open, top of the key, and he responds. Let's go, Webb. Oh, here we go. Got Ray matched up on Cole. I want to see what he can do here. Good defense so far. Cole gets down low and scores, though, and that's where Ray does struggle on defense. So a wise idea there by AC Cole to get to the paint. Oh, Anthony has a lane. Open shot. Missed it, but he gets his own shot back and puts it in. Nice work. Eyeball screen. Cole, wide open lane in there for a dunk. Nobody steps up, and Ray was way behind him. Got caught off that screen. 10-point game, 80-90. to 90, Just over six to play. Nice pass to Boyd by Webb. Bucket and foul. Kenyon Martin Jr. picks up his second. And Boyd continues to just pour it on. Shooting very efficiently, taking smart shots for the most part. And it is the Mac Boyd show through and through all day long. Cole, nice pass out of a shot to Baisley, wide open. And they're having no problem scoring here in this fourth quarter. Boyd in the paint between two defenders, another and one chance. This time it's Walker Kessler picking up the foul. Mac Boyd continues to do Mac Boyd things. Another perfect free throw. Baisley somehow gets the pass through to Lillard. And he responds with a and one of his own. And he shimmies afterwards too. That was a great feed. Free throw is up and good. 11 point game with just under six to play. Dort checks back in for the rest of this game and now we got all five stars out there for both teams. Boyd's doubles. 
And Durant can't even hang on to the pass. Are you serious, dude? What? It was right to you. A three for Cole. Online. And it's back to eight. We cannot have turnovers like that, Jalen Dern. Come on, man. That was a really stupid one. Let's hang on to the ball. Collins with it. Out to Yovi, who really only has like four points total in this game. Boyd's doubled again. Collins, the triple. Answers right back. That's more like it. We're going to double team Cole. They go to Baisley. He finds Kessler, and we're there too late. Why, are you, why do you double a guy that has less than 20 points? That's what I don't get. Let's not do that and not try to lose us the game. Ivanovic penetrates, rises up, and got it over Kessler. That is tough. We're going to double Cole again. That leaves Kessler wide open. Please, please stop this. Why would you do it in the most important moment of the game when you have a 10-point lead? Just stop. Top of the key for Boyd. Contested three. No, it's tipped out of bounds by Jalen Duran. The Warriors take over down by nine. Eyeball screen for Cole. Back out to Baisley. Wide open three, but he missed it. Lucky break for us. That was incredibly open. Boyd. Wants to attack on the other end, and he got it! Silver Wiggins. 38 for Mac Boy, 22 coming inside the paint. We're back in front by 11. Three minutes to play and counting. Wiggins steps into a three and hits it. And they just won't go away. Here's a high screen for Durin, or from Durin rather. We go back to him. We pick up the fourth foul on Walker Kessler. Got to get at least one of these, Durin. There it is on the first one. Coach Claude looking on as Durin finally knocks down both. Off-ball movement for Wiggins. Boyd's there, but the three is going to fall either way. We get a 40 bomb for Boyd on opening night. He needs one more bucket or two free throws. Instead, a lob it to Durin wide open behind the defense. Great pass right there. Off the screen, Cole back to Kessler, and Duran fouled him plus the bucket. It's like the one thing you can't do at this stage in the game is do that. Is the free throw is going to make it the closest this game has been since the first quarter, I believe. A six point game for the first time in several quarters. Just over 90 seconds to go. Jovanovic back to Collins, he's covered well. Let me find an open shot here. Boyd, top of the key, doubled. He goes back to Collins. Door was open. Late pass, but he still knocks it down. A big shot from a new signing, Lou Dort. And it's back to a nine point game. In the paint, Cole can't finish through traffic, but he gets his own miss back and will still get the bucket. Seven point game, 110 to 103. And Dort throws it right to Lillard. You cannot be serious. What is it with this team in turnovers with just like the most random plays? Five point game. Why are we just making this so more difficult for ourselves? Boyd. As a mismatch, attack this. Back out. They were trying to double him. They're going to double Yovi instead. Boyd has a three, and it's off. It's tipped out. We cannot give these guys a chance. Lillard to Baisley in the corner. He got it. It's a two-point game. You can't be serious. They won't foul. It's a smart decision. They're going to foul now. That's interesting because we're in the bonus. I don't agree with that whatsoever. But Boyd will have a chance here. If he hits both, to get 40 points. The first one is good. The second is also good. He's got a 40 bomb on opening night of year five. We're in store for something special for number 22 this year, folks. I can't wait. This right here is a huge play. 24 seconds to go. The inbound to Lillard. 
Who do they go to? We almost turned it up all over. And instead, it leads to maybe the worst and one we've ever allowed. That is incredible. We should have had a steal there. But now the game is the closest it's ever been. But Baisley missed the free throw. Huge, huge miss. And John Collins has huge free throws right here. And he misses the first one. We cannot be this bad again from the charity stripe. We simply can't. He goes over two. No, we can't. We can't do this. We can't. If we somehow throw this game away, I'm going to be livid. We have been in control the entire game. You cannot let it go here. You simply can't. Please, no threes allowed. Cole, off it, fires, and he missed it. The Neptunes hang on to win at home. 112 to 110 on opening night, but it's a home victory, and we're 1 0. It should not have been this close. It was, but we come out on top. That's all that matters. Mac Boyd drops 40 on the way to a win. Welcome to year five. Mac Boyd drops 40 and 8 on 15 for 24 shooting on opening night. What a performance by our superstar player. Jalen Dern was also very, very good. 20 points, 16 boards, 9 for 10, and your perfect day for him. Had a couple of threes for Chris Murray, but he could have shot better in this game, I thought. But uh, Cole Anthony, 3 for 11. Yovi only took 7 total shots, 3 for 7, 0 for 4 from downtown. We'll see better from him, no doubt about that. But uh, Matthew Rhodes, one board, one steal. Didn't really do anything else, uh, but had a plus six, plus minus. The negatives were for John Collins. Uh, Boyd actually had a negative six, plus minus, but we allowed 44 in the fourth quarter. They almost came back to win. So we're still seeing that, especially in these fourth quarters, like, like against Milwaukee last season in the playoffs, we're just allowing a lot more points towards the end of these games for some reason. Maybe it's uh, a guy playing too much. Like, I mean, Boyd played 38 minutes. That was a bit more than I wanted him to play. But it, it, everybody else played about what their minutes were. So no complaints there, really. But a good win to have. We're 1-0, and that's always nice. And so briefly now, I'm going to go over the adjustments to our sliders. Um, so it's mostly for CPU user, but I'll show the ones for... Trades and contracts first. I think actually trades are the same as they were. Um, for contracts, though, um, you want you're, you're gonna want to put your salary cap value up to the maximum one. Um, that's gonna be your starting one. So this won't affect it if you're already into your franchise and already like a year past. But you do want to put the inflation rate up to 100. You want to keep these two settings the same: the luxury tax and the hard cap. You want to put the hard cap value up to 242. Again, that's a starting number, but that will affect only if you are making a new one. And then down here, put min rating to 74, max rating to, to uh, 80, put salary curve to 22, player potential down to 20, durability at 37, player minutes at 50, player fame to 15, non-financial ambitions to 72. So those are your contract slider updates. And then... For the CPU and user ones, we just talk about the CPU ones here. Uh, we're going to put inside shot success and close shot to 61, mid range to 63, three point at 66. It was at 67 last year. Uh, layup success to 61. It was 64 last year. Uh, shot coverage impact at 35. And then I'll just go through the rest. I did slightly increase the free throw window size to 62. It was at 60, I believe, last year. Um, I slightly lowered contact shot uh, success and otherwise most everything else is what it was before.
And to end off, let's just briefly go through each team and see what their roster looks like. Ours looks pretty well rounded with uh, a really good star player and then two guys behind him that can definitely put up star caliber numbers. The Nets obviously got Josh Giddy off the trade in the draft. Their roster looks pretty comparable to ours, maybe a bit worse overall. Ours may be a bit better. The Nuggets are going top heavy with Jokic and Mitchell. So they got that going on. The Pacers look like, like a really good roster, especially a really good starting five with Halliburton, Dyson Daniels, Serena Stojic, Turner, and Christian Braun. Also with Trey Murphy over there. They have a pretty good roster. The Pelicans uh, look, you know, pretty top heavy. Um, but three, you know, really solid players with, you know, Zion, Wagner, and Sohan. The Pistons still have Ivy, along with Bobby Portis and Herb Jones. Pretty comparable roster to ours. Pretty well-rounded. Ours is a bit more well-rounded well overall. But theirs is not bad at all. The Raptors have a very good roster. Scotty Barnes, Grady Dick, Lonzo, Pirtle, also Freddie Simmons. Pretty good roster here. Their bench might be kind of thin towards the towards the end of it, but their starting five is nasty. The Rockets are a very good team overall. Very good starting five. Pretty damn solid bench with Jalen Green leading the way over there in Houston. In Seattle, they uh, signed Trey Young to a massive four-year contract. He'll play over there alongside Aaron Gordon and Kyle Kuzma. Not the best roster, but not terrible either and the spurs here uh made the finals last year they lost in seven to milwaukee and uh they're back and ready for more with a fantastic roster especially with all these young players women yab at 96 Derek gladly at a duke at 83 kevin herter kent gary's up to 81 jose ramirez at a 80 jackie wennington who we thought about drafting a couple years back they have a really good roster a young roster and uh they're in store for maybe a better season this time around which is going to be hard because they almost won the entire damn thing the suns have a very top heavy roster going for booker and jaron jackson jr pretty much only and the rest of their team is you know young but also not very good yet so they're relying on their two stars to lead the way okay see their, their young guys have finally grown into better players. And they have one of the best rosters across the entire league. Good bench. Great starting five. They're in store for a great season. Timberwolves going top heavy. Kind of like the uh, the uh, Suns are with uh, two really good players. With Edwards and Cat, And then uh, kind of a lackluster bench. Pretty much probably the worst bench unit that you'll see in the entire league. So they're in store for that. The Blazers have a very strong starting five and a very good, you know, trio with Scoot, Sharp, and Anthony Simons. But their bench could probably use some work as it's going to be a lot worse than their starting five. We know about the Warriors. They've got three players that can really contribute. Uh, Wiggins as well. You know, decent bench, not great or anything. And uh, they'll be okay this year. And the Wizards, they've got Giannis at 95 overall. Now with R.J. Barrett, Jerem Lynch still over there. Uh, good starting five, another bench that could use some work. You got the 76ers, who look like a really good starting five with a better bench than most teams that we've seen recently. They've got Luther Gilmore up to uh, 79 with 15 badges. Good for him. The Bucks are still probably the best team in the entire league. Just a, a fantastic you know, top five players on their team. They definitely could use better bigs for sure. Um, they might trade for one because their best guy is like a 74 overall. So if they can get a better big, they'll be back in the saddle for probably the best team in the entire league. Then you got the Bulls, who don't really have a star player, just a lot of really good players in their mid to late 20s. So they could be good, just depends on how these guys play. And then the Cavaliers obviously have the trio of Mobley, Garland, and Jared Allen. And their bench is pretty solid as well. But their starting five will be pretty damn good. One of the best across the league. The Celtics hanging on to Jalen Brown and Kristaps. Along with Matthew Oakley and Sergio Munoz. 
Carl Frazier. Not sure what to expect from them. They've got two star players and then uh, a pretty well-rounded middle of the team, but the bench might need a little bit of work. The Clippers are going to be one of the worst teams, I feel like. They just don't have a star player, and their bench is like not better than any other team, really. It's just kind of average. The Grizzlies might be in store for a solid season, along with, you know, John Morant up to a 95 overall. They have uh, got Marcus Smart still over there. So pretty, pretty solid team here. Bench is probably not too good towards the end of it, but I think it's a fine roster overall. And the Hawks have a pretty good trio here as well with Darren Fox, DeJounte Murray, and MPJ. The Heat are kind of in a similar boat. Three, you know, pretty good star players with Bam, Butler, and Harrow. And then um, just a bunch of role players around them. The Hornets have LaMelo, Brandon Miller, DeAndre Ayton, Nick Smith. I think they'll probably have a better year than last year. They'll probably be uh, a pretty, you know, high seed in the Eastern Conference. And you got the Utah Jazz. Pretty, you know, well-rounded roster overall, I would say. I would say it's a bit worse than ours towards the top and towards the bottom, but in the middle, a pretty good roster. So I think they'll be probably a, you know, low, low tier playoff team. The Kings have Luka alongside Sabonis and Peter Leonard and Brandon Edwards. But once you go to their bench, they are terrible. So they're relying on their starting five only. And then last but not least, no, there's a couple more teams actually. Uh, the Knicks. They've got Jalen Brunson to lead the way. They have a pretty good roster, very comparable to ours, I'd say. But they'll probably be kind of a, a mid-seed in the Eastern Conference, like a 5 or a 4 perhaps, maybe a 6. The Lakers have two good bigs, and then their roster drops off quickly after that. I don't see them being too good, to be honest. And then finally, your last team. No, the last two teams. Jesus. The Magic. Uh, they're going to be pretty damn good. They've got Ben Caro, Cousins, and Jamal Murray still, who really has not dropped off yet. They've also got Stevie Richardson up to 80 overall with a pretty solid bench. And last but not least, the Dallas Mavericks. They've got Kevin Durant and Kyrie teamed up once again. But after Robert Williams, the Time Lord, things kind of go south. So another team that's kind of relying on their starting five to get things done for them. But that's the entire league right there. I think we definitely have a pretty well-rounded roster. Not even close to the best roster, but I think we have a pretty good roster compared to most of the leagues. So hoping for a really good year here. And um, we will pick things up next time, guys, to sim our first couple of weeks. And then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time around as we continue year five. Take care and peace.